You okay? <laughs> you look a little tired there, Soy. <laughs> He's taking down. Move up a little bit. Yeah, I don't want you to hit the concrete. Yeah, that, that functions as a real blade. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> 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 you want to do that again? Can I see that again? Sure. Oh, shit. Was that pretty good speed? That was, that was, yes, but you don't look like you're trying to kill him. Yeah. You just kind of want to, and, and then kill him. So you don't want him to feel you, and you don't want to look like you're hunting. Autograph. Right. You're just, just like a jogger. Right. You're just jogging. Get his there you go. There you go. Perfect. And you just, now see the nice part about that whole thing? You just kept on going, right? And you dispatched this guy. I mean, Dead. Don't, done. Don't look back. Gone. Don't look back because everybody's going to be looking at him. Let's try that one more time. Okay. I won't look back. Just keep right on going. So keep your tempo. Thank you for being considerate. Now keep your tempo here and there are the same. You don't want any visual cues that anything is really changing. And your speed is good. Beautiful. Entry. Oh <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Does that work or what? It works. Isn't that fun? Thank God it's a plastic <laughs> What are cousins for? What are cousins for? Yeah. You want to try that on him? Here, so let's try one more time. We want Marty Bell to do it. Out of there, Simon. Here, that's what. No, no, no. You need to be running like a jogger. Don't keep your knife up. Keep it down. Okay. Here we go. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Just like that. <laughs> I end up on my stomach. <laughs> Stab myself. Stab himself. Yeah. Not. You use the knife to motivate him. I mean, a real knife is going to jerk that head back. He can stand there against the rubber knife. Okay. Uh, you know. rubber knife. Yeah. You go back. Just come up underneath the nose if worst, oh, worst, yeah. worst case. <laughs> Time? Okay, all right. Turn around, boy. Oh, you're a freak. Come out there. Let me know my toe. That was pathetic. <laughs> You're just getting beat up today, there, sorry. <laughs> Do you think? And you can't return the paper. That's right. Did you see how you just sat there just doing it? The knife's effective, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> it's effective. Like that. Bring them back to you. What, you. what you're really doing is you're bringing them off balance, right? And when we're behind him, so I get over here. So when I'm behind him, I'm bringing him up and back onto me. See how his back is bent? Yeah. And now I step out of the way and let him fall in that hole. That's what you got to do. That's the mechanics. And keeping the blade next to his neck. Right. So that as he falls, he's cutting his own neck on the way through. His body weight is. Try it again. Trying to spin it. He's too big. Here, can I borrow that? Here. You also might be bending your blade a bit. Asking, what about my doing somebody like Simon? She just did it. Oh, yeah? Can you do it? Yeah. Run past him and do it. Go, 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 go. Go, go. go. Gotta lean back. No, she has that. You got a hook down to his neck. You got horse cars now? <laughs> oh, you just have to straddle. You gotta jump. Gotta jump, babe. You gotta jump. Is that what she has to do? Just jump? Yeah, that's, that's why that entry leap is, you know, we leap. Yeah. Get that pull in, get that body going. Like that. <laughs> Your turn there, Barney. Actually, Matias and Sam haven't done it. 
You get one, I'll get one. Go. Uh, we're in training. <laughs> it doesn't hurt us as much as we fall. Right, He's closer to the ground anyway. Go. 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 Yeah. Go do Barney. <laughs> do Barney. <laughs> Yeah, you try. Show him, show him. Okay, Barney, one more time. You got to get this pirouette thing going on. Yeah, because that really, that watch. Larry since they will get the pirouette thing going here. And he's up. See see how he got up and pulled? Oh, wrapped around, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, so you got to get that pull going. Can I try one? Yeah, as soon as he's up, go. Here, here comes Sam. <laughs> We got to get that pirouette thing going. You 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 do it beautifully. Now, why don't why don't we you want to practice the pirouette? Here. Yeah. On the pirouette without somebody there. You want to do is you want to run up, plant your foot and make the turn. Okay? You come in right behind him. Up and make the turn. You want to come in like a layup. See? If you'd have dressed if you'd have come in Plant a proper foot. uniform, you'd be out here. Plant this foot. I know. <laughs> you're hamming it up? You're, you're hamming it up, or are you really tired? <laughs> okay. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, good. Well, we have a couple more to go. Now, Matthias, let's try the turn, the pirouette. Okay? Over there you go, then, Barney. Again? Yeah. What you want to do is plant your foot. Up. There, perfect. There. You feel how the, you develop yeah. that power going? Momentum. Yeah, the momentum and the power. And you don't even break stride. You find yourself right on target going down the aisle. Come over here. You'll be from 45 degrees off going out of the division. Don't look at him. Keep your head down. Look at his shadow, if anything. Perfect. Good. Good cut. Good cut. Good pirouette. Want to try it again? Sure. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the sound effects. I, I love the sound effects, Barney. I think I heard it all the way on my mic. <laughs> Back rolls. <laughs> <laughs> well, they told me to beat you up. Oh, jeez. Thanks, girl. Yeah. Of course, you should leap anyway. There you go. <laughs> that was so good. Can we see that again, but keep going that way? You You see how that leap helps? Get that momentum going. <laughs> you insulted both. That's just gonna get you. Yeah. Had you been you you were you missed the neck. You were on this side, not the other side. Otherwise you'd have been good to go. You know the difference when you hook it. Yeah, it's a big difference. And if you know if it's a real blade, you're gonna be going. <laughs> He's limping. <laughs> Okay, let's, oh, you, anybody else want to try this? And if not, we'll go to the next move. One more time. You want to Sam? Real <laughs> okay. Get, get over here on the 45. The whole idea is you come out of his... Blind side. Okay. You, know, you really wouldn't want to be, see if I thought it was here, because you don't want to give yourself too much. The longer you give him a run, the more people are going to pick up on you. Right. Well, or he's just jogging. He blends in. Well, you don't jog with the knife flowing out like that, Sam. Yeah, I, I, keep, 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 keep the knife low, okay? Just, just like this, Sam. Here you are, right? You know you're going to want to be that way, so just put it down. So what happens if he has his What? He's coming in 45. 
Boom. I think there was an earthquake in Anaheim Hills. Okay, so let's get back on track with our, our burst, but in the offensive position. Remember, that's why we, we had two techniques going. So you're going to be knife forward. Tough! Okay, you're just right there. Okay? All right? Give it a try. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's a. It might be a cold steel tonto. I don't know. It was a plastic knife that was sharp, and we ground it down and then taped it. But it's it's nice because it 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 acts like a real blade. It doesn't bend, you know. But it's also not very forgiving with your opponent either. Yeah, baby. It's called a fencing stab, too, uh, the, that particular motion. Catching a lot of wind? <laughs> no. Get it in, get it out of there. You want to be yeah! in and out. In and out of there. In and out of there. The more your arm is out, the more they can work on your arm or disarm you. So you want to get in and get back out. Once you're inside, you can be, once you've got him, you got him. Once you puncture that neck, I mean, regardless of what you can get, you can get him back out of there. Even if she has a hold of it, get, get your arm back out of there. Same thing. Yeah! In and out. Okay? In and out of there. A good, sorry? And Sam, right, palm down. Okay. That'll orient perfect. Okay. Yep. When you bring it back here, don't keep your elbow out. Here and back. <laughs> I told you, man. <laughs> oh no, you don't have to wait. That's the whole point. Oh really? No, you just just attack. No, you're hanging out. Boom. Okay. Done. You don't have to attack. Yeah. Okay. Another another similar attack. Okay, we're here. Okay. Come in, underneath, okay, yep. All right, another similar burst attack. We're here, okay. Hey. You're just down below. So you're here, rotate it, make your strike. Block the hand. Now, Marty, you like this first, then you know you're gonna make your Strike and then make it turn. So you rotate so it with your fingers. Right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Perfect. See how nice that was? We're doing a burst groin version. Okay. You're here. Okay. okay. That's a side because you think he's coming. Oh, up yeah. <laughs> You're done. Uh, Soy, you're doing this. Okay. Step. There you go. Keep your feet on the ground. Yes. You can do that too, but this is quick in and out. Yep, just in and out. The same kind of concept. You're doing this, right? In and out. In and out. Boom. Good. I know, but you have to cut on the side. Please don't cut his private parts. Well, uh, oh. Under the groin. How do you, yeah? Uh, Going under the groin. Yes. Turn your wrist. You're here? I, I turn the blade. Yep. Are you here? I mean, I, I did it at full speed, you know, with you. It's just. Yeah, it's there here. Done. It's almost on the grip turn. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah, a grip. It is. Yep. Boom. Boom. Yes. Boom. Oh. 
Uh, Marty, I wouldn't stick you. <laughs> stick your arm out there. I'd get that knife back a little bit. I mean, we want to be back in here. We don't want to have that because that's going to get cut. <laughs> you want to cut and get right back to here. Just keep it in. Keep it in tight with you. Okay. Are you rotating it? Yes, I'm here. Uh -huh. okay. So I'm using my fingers to, to rotate my blade. Okay. You're like this, but then you're like... I'm like this? Yeah. No, I'm like that. Okay. Good, good weapon handling stuff. I mean, we, we spend a lot of time learning to move our weapon back and forth and forward and back and rotate it. And so since it, when we were here, this is the way we had it before. Uh, that way? I guess I had yes. That way. This is our normal fighting, right? Yeah. And, and then, then we want to go to the groin? Rotate. Just rotate. Yep. See how nice that is? No chance of losing the blade. Or very little, anyway. Oh, ho! You okay, Marty Bell? You okay? I'm gonna get you. Ouch. <laughs> Let's see. Are you seeing two of me? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoop. Thank you. All right, we're 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 at the day's end anyway here. Well, one of the things one of the things we got to watch on this. I want to make sure that we don't do is get to such a point where we're worried about speed and getting amped up with people getting hurt. You know, you got to work on your technique. This is nothing about. Uh, I mean, if you want to get in a fight, your adrenaline is going to push your speed. Mm -hmm. Okay. On this stuff, work on technique and control. This is an example, these are examples where we, we have to be in control. And we're not all black belts, so that makes a difference. That's an example. That that's just a plain that's just a plain injury. I mean that's just a blunt injury. No no not much you can do but about we that. We can't allow ourselves to get out of control. Tell me to poke the sign, then you have okay. both the same. Please. <laughs> part of part of part of the non gene bonfa thing is is the fact that you you're all about technique. And we get into the speed and then it's muscle and it's it's physical and and it doesn't it's not just him but it's it's, it's all technique show your neck sam no oh, that's typical i mean you usually oh, walk yeah. around here wait right. till you do choke cord work i mean you just have this band of burns when we do choke oh, cords so, or hand bow or hand, well hand bow doesn't leave too many marks though so <laughs> but but really work you know think think of your partners too because i mean we don't have a, a great deal of Oopies to pick on you, you're going to put them out of commission. <laughs> so I'm just saying, speed it down, speed it down, and control. Because once you got that technique down, it'll be automatic in a fight at your speed that you need to have. So please. Yeah, speed doesn't match over uh, sloppiness. I mean, if you're always precise, slow, you're going to be precise fast. No, I mean, but if you're sloppy, you're slow, you're going to be sloppy you fast. The, the assassination yeah. turn, and you caught him in the mouth. You didn't accomplish your mission. All you did is cut his face, ear to ear. He's not going to die. I got more shit. So, I'm just saying, when you do it, you know, it's just like when you get in, you go for the, the carotid because that finishes it. Yeah. That was, that was actually, to touch up on, I was telling him that, you know, he's showing me the techniques, but then if I don't accomplish it, it's like I'm stuck if I don't know what else to do. And doing the whole speed and getting there, but if you're not, I'm hitting them here. And then what? You know, finish the job, get a technique, go know where to go from there. And to hit that, get that accuracy. All right, let's get toes on the line down there. Good job. We'll move down on the sun. Yeah. All right, only two injuries. This, we had three last week, only two, so we're, we're ramping down. Larry Sensei, what'd you learn you liked? Oops, hang on. There we go. Going back to the efficiency of the knife, keeping it really in close, mm -hmm. using it as quickly and as many times as you possibly can without a lot of motion. Mm -hmm. Like that's the key of it. Mm -hmm. So you're you're faster inside that, so you don't need the speed outside. Excellent. Zoe, I love knife on knife. Period. Well, you look a little on the weak side. Oh, I'm in pain. Yes. Yes, that's good. Good. That's compliments of SL. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you, ladies. Okay. What'd you learn you liked? Uh, I definitely enjoy the the knife on knife. Uh, what technique today did you like the best? The one I liked the best was the 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 upward upward knife forward where you slash come down in the forty five and then yeah, in the finish hand. off to the heart. That 
that's a really efficient yeah efficient efficient move yes see my own what you learn you like oh uh, well the running the running nut cutthroat yeah. was great mm -hmm. uh and more importantly uh working with sensei was, uh, and uh learning new techniques and yeah it's amazing what you don't know yeah well and, imagine what i forgot yeah or us and it's just it's amazing how you go from one move to many and correct your errors and just the whole technique mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um the skill i mean just there ain't nothing we don't know much and we're learning more okay good <laughs> matthias what you learned you liked uh, a couple things one obviously when we're training you know having an attacker come on an attacker come on actually out would a knife would be projected towards you and being able to block it the more you get used to that real life situation you kind of get more comfortable with it mm -hmm. um, and definitely the handling of the blade I like the fact that we're using the knife in different positions in our hands mm -hmm. and learning to orient it you know coming from one section flipping the blade over coming underneath mm -hmm. and being able to do that quickly and efficiently it's really and safely cool. yes, yes. Safe. yeah one thing we didn't talk about on the internet is that in knife fighting you want to open the distance so that they have to be committed to come across to get you. you know, with your gun, when you're with a gun, you want to close the distance because you got to get a hold of it. So that was one thing we didn't cover today. Miss Wasserman, Miss Hematoma, what did you learn you like today? Well, present injury accepted. I learned that even somebody who is small can actually have some success attacking somebody who's significantly larger, and that so size doesn't always matter. This is a size thing. Well. Yes, in, this case, in yes. this case it is. And Simon's about three times your size. I think you could probably get three of you. So, yes, but nice blocks, though, okay, before you got damaged. But that was excellent, excellent. Mighty Bell's going to glare at us with her good eye. You know, I got a cornea scratch today myself. So we're, we got, between the two of us, we have one set of eyes. Okay. I definitely like the one jogging through the throat, yeah. that one. Well, that we learn in, you know, our standard classes, yeah. Uh -huh. We do. That was cool. I like that. Sam, what'd you learn you liked? Uh, I like just the fact that, once again, just Sensei said, controls, speed, and, and technique. Mm -hmm. You need to apply that. All the, time. all the time. All the time. All the time. Well, good. Good class, I think. And Carrie, Sensei, what'd you learn you liked? Hang on here. So why don't you focus in on Mati Bell's eye or something while we do this? Zoom in on her eye. What, uh, Army bucko, I'll glare at you with me good eye. Okay. Sensei, you gave a discussion on camera of the physiology of key eyes. It was the best discussion of that I've ever seen. And I hope the rest of the class brings it up and listens to it because it was excellent. Oh, good. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. I get lucky sometimes. But uh, that, that is one of the things I think we hear more often than not from the Internet is where our lessons are very exact. You know, that's because I'm an engineer, I guess. All right. Any questions at all? Nope. We'll bow out. Thank you so much. And that's how you do that. Hey, Simon, and that's... And that's what Simon says. There you go. Now we're getting back into this whole role. All righty. Thank you. He is the creator and sustainer of all the worlds, whether those worlds are known or unknown to mankind. 